Pacific, the heart of broadband. This tutorial video will guide you on how to install the indoor modem, align the antenna, and activate the terminal using the point and play application. Modem installation. Modem back panel. Indoor installation. The modem shall be installed in a clean room in a horizontal position. The length of the cable between the modem and the transceiver shall not be more than 30 meters. For heat dissipation purposes, keep a space of 30 centimeters around the modem. Modem power supply unit. Connect the power cord to the modem power supply. Connect the power supply to the modem 24 volts DC, taking note of the pins. Power up the modem. Check that the LED are lit on both the power supply and the modem. Terminal commissioning and qualification. Wi-Fi router installation. You need to link your smartphone to the modem via a Wi-Fi connection. The procedure below is given for a TP-Link Wi-Fi router. Any other Wi-Fi router could be used provided it can be adjusted as an access point and cabled to a RJ45 port. Connect the router to the power using the USB cable. Set the router to AP mode. Connect the router to any Ethernet port or the NewTek modem with a 10 meter Ethernet cable. A 10 meter Ethernet cable is recommended in order to allow you to place the TP-Link router closer to the antenna, providing a better Wi-Fi signal in case the modem is far from the antenna. Transceiver and modem connections. Connect the TX and RX connectors in the modem and the transceiver as shown here. Check again the modem, router and portable power supply are on with LED indicators lit up. Point and play application connection. Connect your smartphone to the Wi-Fi router. Ensure you are connected to the Wi-Fi router and not to any mobile or any other Wi-Fi network. The information card is provided with a TP-Link Wi-Fi SSID and password. Reopen point and play on your smartphone. Connect it to the modem via the Wi-Fi router in AP mode. Select 1.2 meter antenna. Select the transceiver 3WTRX0121. Select beam number C table in installation manual. We can now start with the alignment of the dish. First, let's do the basic elevation adjustment. Loosen the dish elevation bolts and adjust the elevation to point to the satellite. Hold the long edge of the smartphone on the line printed on the rear side of the antenna. Adjust the basic elevation by hand, slowly, plus or minus 5 degrees each time, until the red line becomes green. The basic elevation is then correct. We can now proceed with the basic azimuth adjustment. Go behind the antenna. Loosen the rough azimuth bolts just enough to rotate around the pole. Rotate the dish until it is pointed between marker 1 and marker 2. Increase the volume of your smartphone to hear a tone proportional to the received signal level. Click on ES number 50dB to open the signal chart. Rotate the dish slowly by hand by small steps. Stop and wait a few seconds after each step to see if the tone and the satellite indication increases or decreases. Stop the basic azimuth adjustment when you hear the tone. Tighten the rough azimuth bolts on the pole. We can now proceed with the final azimuth adjustment. Loosen three fine azimuth bolts enough to allow fine azimuth to be adjusted. The bolt on the left should remain tightened. 
adjust the fine adjustment with the handle slowly in small steps. Wait for a few seconds each time to stabilize the received signal. Loosen the two rough elevation bolts by a quarter turn. If the elevation fine adjustment screw does not actuate properly, loosen the elevation bolts slightly more. Adjust elevation with the fine adjustment screw to maximize the ES and O value displayed on the application. Final tightening. When the maximum signal is reached for both azimuth and elevation, Tighten the rough elevation and azimuth bolts alternatively so that the signal stays at its maximum. Check the rigidity of the antenna fixing by pushing and pulling gently the right and top sides of the dish. If the signal level increases while applying pressure, the alignment is not maximized. If the signal does not return to its original level, the antenna screws were not tightened properly. In both cases, the antenna should be realigned. The antenna is now well pointed and the modem signal is locked. Click Next. Completion of the modem activation. Skip the certification. The site activation is now completed. The application gives you a summary of the site configuration. Connect your laptop to the modem with the Ethernet cable. Check your laptop IP setting is set to DHCP to be able to receive an IP address from the modem. Type the modem address 192.168.1.1 in the address bar of the browser to be directed to the terminal status page. Let the modem confirm it has the latest version or automatically download it and reboot to activate the new software. Otherwise, skip to the next step directly. Test and download and upload speed by connecting your computer to the Pacific Speed Test server. The site is now connected to the Pacific One network and you can start getting Pacific service. Congratulations! Please take a photo of your installation and send it to the Pacific Service Center at ksc at pacific.com together with the name and coordinate of the site. Pacific, the heart of broadband.